So Kevin Reynolds still in second place. And on the ice now, the two-time world champion. Two skaters left. Representing Canada. Well, it's hard to think Patrick of Patrick Chan, Chan as an underdog, that's for sure. But that's how he sees himself this year. I think that's how he sees himself in the public when he's talking to the media, but in his heart. I don't think he sees himself that way at all. This year, he's had some mixed results. Sixth place finish at the Japan Open, second at Skate Canada, third at the Grand Prix Final. We'll find out here in London if he can lay down a two of the best skates of his season and win back to back to back. Well, he's going to need a best skate, Brenda, here in the short program. His season high, just over 89. Dennis, 10, over 91. Rachmaninoff, and this was choreographed by Jeffrey Buttle. Chan, wow, he lights it up here at home. So many questions this season about his skating, and he's answered his critics with that performance here at the World Championships in London. Well, Patrick Chan just had a special skate here tonight in London. Uh, no question. This, Kirk, the first time he's done the quad triple in the short program this year. I want everyone to watch. Watch the back and see how low he is. There's no way he should have made the decision to reach back and do a triple toe, but he did, and he did it to the level of the quality that did not bring down from the program at all. And that is a guy committed to the jump, absolutely no doubt. This year he is not.
not have the highest technical scores, but he has had the highest scores for artistry this season. It'll be interesting to see now, perfect on the jumps. What will that do to his score? The short program score. This is gonna be good. And that's a world record. That is a world record. There's his coach, Kathy Johnson. Together they've taken a lot of flack. They have silenced the critics. Well, you certainly don't want to be the man skating after Patrick Chan tonight.